map as our pink Zerg player from Team My Insanity. It is Dana. Is it Dana or Dana? Dana. 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 I reckon Dana because it's it's like mana, but it's with a D. So Dana. Dana. That's how I roll with it. But some casters call him Dana, and I just get all very confused. It doesn't take gonna, much though. We're gonna call him Dana. How's that work? We're gonna call him Dana. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the map from Team Infused, we have the red Zerg player. It is Cowdy. And as we said in the introduction, or you know, in the lobby screen, um, you know, both these players very well known, and um, they've probably played each other before in the past. You know, they they might know each other's play styles and and whatnot. Um, and and the cool thing about ZBZ is it's actually grown into a really good matchup. All any style that you want to play is viable now. You know, you don't have to go Milo skin anymore. You don't have to go Roach Hydra. You don't have to go Infester. You can do whatever that tickles your fancy. And we'll have to see what either player's play style are today. Yeah, I think that's always a good fun thing to see, but so far these two are not going to be going for any early aggression. Just going for probably hatch firsts, actually. Um, ooh, Cowdy. Um, getting down the gas before pull, but it's just using it for... Oh, he cancels it now. Okay, very interesting. Um, must have been a misclick or him just deciding that no, he doesn't want to do that. Now both going pull first, so not risking the hatch first in match one. But the Overlord's just going to come by each other. It's going to be like, hey, what up? I'm an Overlord. And they'll be like, I'm an Overlord too. And then they just carry on. But yeah, spawning pulls. Gas now coming down for Cowdy. Dana is going to be going up for a quick little hatchery. Yeah, this this is, you know, a tough map to go for hatch first on. Uh, the ramp is wide. The natural, or uh, the ramp into it is wide. And then the ramp into the main base is far away from the natural. So if you're walling off with queens, you can't do that while defending your natural with the queens. It's just a very difficult map. This is a good map for that build that Kaldi was wanting to initially open up with, which was the gas first and the quick pull. Um, you do a speed link all in on this map and your opponent goes hatch first. You have a very high chance of winning the game. But, uh... You know, both players taking the safe build here, which is that pull first, and then both are going up to that gas. We see Cowdy getting his much quicker, of course, going to be getting that speed down a, a lot sooner. Um, and we'll have to see how he wants to be at this. I mean, this this quick of a gas does not mean necessarily that he's going to be aggressive with it. He could just be for defensive measures. Yeah, it could be. It's The big thing to see is whether, okay, drones are still mining gas, and that's a really big thing here for Cowdy. He has pulled them out now, so just a little bit delayed on that. But this means that he could do one of two things. This could be a speedling all in. That's option number one um, off two bases. Or it could just be for a little bit of poking and prodding. The big thing we need to keep an eye out for is whether any more drones get made by Cowdy, because this always oh, getting six lings out. This isn't a mass commitment to it yet, but of course this could just be a two hatch speedling all in. There's eight. I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. You know, I was oh, feeling he's it too. The as well. I, I was feeling it too until he didn't build a second queen. And no, I'm not a big fan. A all in. He's hiding. He's hiding some of the lings. Like Maybe. it's got to be. I don't think so. I don't think so. With a speedling all in, you want two queens. You you send it in with two waves of injects. I mean, he's doing a speedling timing, but I mean, maybe it is a speedling all in. But this is not a good speedling all in. Uh, I feel you have to do it with the two queens. It's it's two queens is a more common way of doing it, but it does delay it still a bit. We can see here, Cowdy now just pumping out like a lot more zerglings. Dana, I don't think, has actually become aware of this yet. Yeah, does have eight lings of his own down. Is running them across, but of course, Cowdy can see all of this. Speed is about to finish up. Dana, getting down that Baneling nest. Is it going to be done in time? That's a big thing. With Banelings, you can hold this off really easily, and it's pretty much just a win for Dana, who is already hugely ahead in the drone count, but really needs to spot this. Now sees the speedlings on the way over with the Overlord. The Baneling nest isn't going to be done in time. Dana has to get an amazing defense out now. Yeah, it's too late. I mean, the, the bailing that shouldn't even finish. There's just so much Zerg here from Cowdy. Eight lings are on the way for Dana, but it might just be a little too late. There's so much Zerg here. Queen's getting surrounded on. Drone's gonna die. The natural base spine collar will finish up. There's nothing to defend the main base. All drones will be killed off. There's just so much Zerg here. This is just a quick timing here. Uh, and and Cowdy of uh, you know good read on or good call on his part doing this build. Uh, I don't, he does, maybe he knows Dana's style, but speedlings are out here for Dana. Dana looks like he's gonna be able to clean this up for the most part. If we take a look at that uh, income tab, Dana's actually only down five workers right now. But the important thing is he lost both of his queens, which is gonna slow down his production and slow down his economy.
Yeah, Cowdy does have both queens up, getting the baning, getting more zerglings out. But a big counter push coming in from Dana here. And Dana, if he comes in and actually does some nice damage, he could do quite a lot. 18 links are just popping out. That gives Dana a small advantage, but the queens are the big thing, as you mentioned. The baning's now morphing, though, for Dana. This is where things could start getting a little bit fun. The baling hits are going to be essential, and if they go down well, Cowdy is going to be in a huge amount of problems with only zerglings to defend with for quite a long period. A lot of damage needs to be done here by Dana if he wants to keep in this game. He's coming forward here with his Bane Link. A good split so far from Cali. Four Bane Links going for the middle line. Drones have not been pulled just yet. Queen trying to target down at the speed. He's going to surround on this Queen. Two Bane Links trying to get in as much damage as possible. One Bane Link does detonate on a few amount of these Links. A few more trying to detonate that last Bane Link. If he can maintain this Link count, he'll be good and it does go down. And uh, you know, there's only one queen back home for Dana right now for the injects. Um, there's one back here for Cowdy as well, so both need to reproduce those. Uh, 24 speedlings on the way for Cowdy. He does have that bailing nest like he pointed out earlier, so he is going to be going for a counterattack more than likely. He's not reproducing that additional queen. He's just only building lings right now. I suspect an all-in soon from him. No follow-up yeah, on he rather. He knows he's ahead just by the fact that Dana is pushing out with so much stuff. The Banelings are waddling forward here for Cowdy, and this is a bit of a problem. Another Banelings coming in, he gets a big hit, one for three, that's a nice little trade there. But here we see Cowdy now rushing across the map, more Zerglings in production. Dana is going for the lair, but that lair timing, the Baneling hits from Dana now have to be amazing. Yes, Cowdy is supply block, which is frustrating, but just look at these Banelings start coming in. Cowdy sitting there, 16 to 13 Zerglings but 5-1 to one Banelings. Dena needs to get a really good defense here and also needs to, well, keep on top of this. And Cowdy, admittedly on one Queen, though, that could be a little bit problematic. Oh, please be careful not to lose any of his links. There is this spine crawler here. The Baneling connects have to be perfect for Dana. The split from these Banelings aren't as good as they could be. Gets a con oh, does not get a good connect there. Baneling's going to come in here. There's some morphing in. Three are going straight into that mineral line, actually going straight into the main base here, running completely by the spine crawler. There's some going back down to that mineral line here. Two Banelings coming up. Queen gets surrounded on the lair, has been scouted. Takes out his opponent's Banelings. No, they're going to get a decent connect, killing off a few of those links. Um, one of these players, did they actually finish researching Burrow? I think it was a uh, Cowdy I saw researching No, neither the player has Burrow. Neither player does at the moment. It was oh, cancelled, so... Yep, we've got more Banelings though coming in from Cowdy, who's still sitting on one Queen, but level that out with Dana. Dana is sitting slightly ahead in terms of the work account, also getting down the Spire. If that Spire can get completed, it's a straight out win for Dana, because there's really nothing, no response to that, no lair even started for Cowdy. Cowdy needs to end this game, he's under time pressure. You know, uh, this is really impressive from Dana, his crisis management. Uh... You know, after that first attack, I would have just all in and been like, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I've, I've taken some damage early on in ZVZ. Everyone, you know, in, in ZVZ, it's one of the, it's one of those few matchups that's like, if you take any damage and you're down even like five harvesters, it just makes such a huge deal. But Dana, I tried to hold in that sneeze, but I couldn't. I failed hard there. Um, Dana doing a good job of keeping his head in the game and recovering from that early uh, loss. And he's got his lair up. He's going to have a spire out soon. There's going to be a follow-up roach banding all in coming from Cowdy. And if he gets his mutas out in time, he'll be able to clean this up with minimal losses. Yeah, that's the big thing, though. Getting Dana can't afford that many mutalisks. Um, going to be about 600 in terms of gas by the time that spire finishes. And Cowdy is going to try and hit before that point. But Dana, just brilliant read, getting down a ton of spine crawlers, making sure that he's nicely defended. And as long as he holds this off, well, the Spire is basically an I win button in this situation because there's only a queen for anti defense from Cowdy. No spore crawlers, no lair tech. As long as Dana plays this smart now, Cowdy is going to have a real tough time. Uh, I agree with you completely. This is going to be a tough uh, uh, move for him here. He's got to get the, these spine crawlers are all stacked up. If they can get the perfect connect here, but the Banelings coming forward here. If they can take all these Banelings, they don't. These are all completely stacked up. Ooh, good connect good there so far. Cleaning up a lot of Banelings here. Banelings going to detonate on top of the spine crawlers. Two are left over though. Ling streaming in here. Uh, you know, the, the spine crawlers were all stacked up. The Banelings top or killed off most of them. I, I think Dana's going to take a lot of damage here. They're, they're the only mutalists to defend. Yeah, and there isn't even that many mutalists. That's the problem. There's four out on the field, no more on the way. So they don't have the DPS to pick off these lings before a tremendous amount of damage is being done to the drone line. Look at those drones full, Zoya. This is a problem right now for Dana, because even though the tech's there, there's just streams and streams of Zerglings coming across the map to reinforce. The Zerglings are still pushing in. The Roaches are slowly getting cleaned out, but Wave 2 coming in from Cowdy here. And the mutalists just can't kill this fast enough. It, it's... Really, really uh, sad to see here. Uh, 
Uh, I really wish that Dana would have spread out those spine collars a lot more. Uh, that That's why he lost this game, in my opinion, was because the Banelings were able to just kill off most of those. If you have them spread out to where, you know, it's kind of like bunkers. You, you don't stack your bunkers because the Banelings will just take them all out in one explosion. That, that's kind of what happened to Dana. And now he's down to 18 supply. Income tab is down to four drones. I mean, yes, he's got the Mula Scout, but there are spores that can be built back home, queens to defend, and the economy for Cowdy is just way too strong. GG drop from Dana. Cowdy going to take.